Today we're taking a look how to connect one of these to your flight controller. Today we're going to connect one of the eSky transmitters usually used for a helicopter to a quadcopter flight controller. Let's get to the desk and start connecting this bad boy. Okay, so we got our flight controller already mounted to the quadcopter. And we got the receiver for the transmitter and uh, CPPM cable. So let's start by connecting the CPPM cable. And make sure you get the polarities right. Let's see here. There we go. And connect the first cable to the first port on the transmitter. Make sure you get the polarities right here as well. Uh, you can see the white cable in this case are the is the uh, the ground cable. So let's get this connected. like so and we'll connect the uh, flight controller to the computer there we go got a blue light let's start up the computer okay so we'll start up clean flight and connect to the flight controller and start at the receiver tab I think and <clears throat> get some power to the rest of the quadcopter there we go and we'll start up our transmitter as well and it seems to be connected the problem that appears now is that when you increase the throttle you can see other values the roll and the pitch in this case is increasing as well the jaw seems to be okay and the pitch has the same problem as the throttle otherwise it seems to be okay so let's see how you solve this problem okay so there seems to be uh, some kind of mixing in these helicopter controllers so what we'll do is power it down turn it around take out the batteries Okay, so after removing the batteries, uh, you can see these small switches here under the battery compartment. And you can see that one of them is switched down and the other up. So what I will do is make these reverse. The, in the reverse order like so okay so we got the batteries back in the transmitter and uh, we'll connect up the quadcopter and turn on the transmitter as well and see if this change made any difference and we'll connect to the flight controller again and go to the receiver tab and let's try this again Yeah, that seems to be the, <clears throat> yeah, that seems to be, yeah, that seems to have solved the issue. So, um, thanks for watching and see you soon.